While we were in Batumi, we watched the USS Porter dock. It was an awe-inspiring scene. Georgians seem to genuinely love America, so it was really cool to see a piece of America here in Georgia. The U.S. flag is shifted to the back of the ship while it is docked. This friendly guy from the Georgian Coast Guard was trying to figure out if we wanted a picture with him or if we wanted Sydney to hold his gun in a picture. After the porter spent the day in Batumi, we watched it sail away into the sunset. This river was listed as the boundary to Turkey. That's the old military bridge. So this was all a military reservation. No one except the people in these villages on the hills okay. couldn't have permission to go here. Like okay. even your family couldn't come visit you. Like okay. only if you owned a house over here. Okay. So all the Georgians thought this river sneak across the river and say, hey, Turkish guards, Turkish guards, I surrender, I surrender, I want to defect. And the KGB guys who were here on the other side of the river would say, well, that's very interesting. Why don't you accompany me to the Gulag? <laughs> because they weren't actually in Turkey and no one knew. Oh. Turkey didn't start until way down here. So no one in Georgia knew what was here. This area over here on the right now, see those old buildings? That is an old, that's the old Soviet Batumi military base. No one could come here except Soviets and then the few people that lived here yeah. in Georgia. Neo Fortress, no Georgians knew about it until after the Soviet Union collapsed. They didn't even know that they had it in Georgia. And so this whole Soviet base here, they mined it when they left uh -huh. and left unexploded ordnance everywhere so no one can go over there. They just kind of use cows to uh, occasionally trip one off. That's how you make hamburger. Yeah. Right across the street from this beautiful castle, these old Soviet style apartments.
Jonny, huh? Wait, there ain't any damn hurry without wearing a face mask. It's not allowed. We need the mask? Look how beautiful it is. So 5, 10, 15, and how much more? 1 lar. 5, 10, 15, 16. Mm -hmm. If you want to take, I don't need it. Ooh, an old fortress, Roman They were Roman. They found a bunch of uh, Roman baths and stuff here too. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it's us and one other person here. Yeah. This is the time to be a tourist in Georgia. Have you already made it in? Yeah. <laughs> I like that the lady was like, "When did you guys get here?" What, what, how did you get here? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can't tease. Oh, look. There's the water from the Roman bath. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Roman plumbing. Oh, oh. it's very advanced. Very advanced. Do you think it's Let's give it a try, Jason. Oh. No water? No water. No water. Oh. Okay. There's a very old so There's probably floor. a floor. Wood floor here. Yeah. Look this at is this slipper. Look, ancient Roman slipper. Oh, ancient Roman slippers. <laughs> <laughs> it must have been some way more camp. It must have been a camp out. What's this do? Come on, tour guide. But show, show us those <laughs> university skills. <laughs> I'm gonna get a master's and I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't want to join the army. David, this is what happens when you're in the army. The Roman army, when they would set up camp, they basically created this, the typical concept of small towns. They would have a main street with branching off avenues off their tents. Yay, Romans. And there's a scorpion. So these are not quite made right. This is too big, but these are pilla. So each each Ro Roman soldier would carry two, mm -hmm. plus their shield, and they had their short sword. And they're made to be, again, these are too big, but uh, they're made to be flexible, so they'd stick in the shield and then bend, so that it was pulled down the other guy's shield and he couldn't pull it out and throw it back at you. No one's gonna say anything. She's <laughs> more heavy than this one. Yeah. She's back there uh, at the cashier. She's not coming through. There's no rules. It's Georgia. Sydney yeah. Ray. Sydney Ray. What are you doing? Put that down. You're going to break yourself. All right, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now you're ready for battle. Is that the way to go, Said? Charge! I'm the captain of all of you. This is stable, Daddy. Ballista! It's stable, she says. <laughs> Who let us in? Oh, David broke it. No, it was like this. Uh, uh, no, it was like... He sounds like Gru. <laughs> no, it was like this. Somebody launch me to space. <laughs> oh, Sydney. Yeah, I got it on video. <laughs> no. David is going to get us kicked out of here. What's it like? <laughs> Say it again. Quariat. Quariati. Why not? I don't know. Can Sydney lay in one of these hammocks? Does that cost extra? How much for the hammock laying? That's part of the that's part of the deal. 
everything uh, from the mix because the they mix. are making like these things. Oh, yes. oh okay. What's Lula? Lula kebab. Like this without the bread. Ah. It tastes good. Can't go in too far because I'm not going in. Okay. Chicken, pork, beef, french fries, bread. Batumi beer. Batumi beer, french fries, and always the Georgian salad. Which I didn't know that you're supposed to order with walnuts, and I was always sad that it wasn't that good. But now it's much better. We had three different kinds of meats, french fries, salad, bread. Two pina coladas, two Batumi beers, 118 lari, which is like 40, 30, 38 dollars. 38 US. Good deal. On the beach, looking out onto the sea. Cheap or right? Very cheap. Now we are Sarpi. driving to Sarpi. 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 This is Sarpi. Last, Sarpi. Not uh, last stop in Georgia. Path through Georgia, the enlightening path. The project is dedicated to the entry of St. Andrew in the first fall in Georgia. There's Turkey right over there. That's where Maya is, right? Yep, that's where Maya is. Hi, Maya! Over here we have Turkey. <laughs> over here we have Georgia. Right here we have beautiful clear water. David, don't kill us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and David's gonna jump off those rocks over there. That was David. Did he come back up? I don't know. There he is. He survived. Huh? What are you going to do? Playing fetch with our Play driver. Playing fetch with our driver, okay. <laughs> you ready? He likes Here it, it though. Look at him. He's smiling. It? You see? I can see. I can see. It's marked. Go get it, David. <laughs> good boy. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> I love this game. I'm going to go find one too. No. Let's see if he did it. Don't wear yourself out. you got to get us home. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Did he do it? Did he do it? And why this is uh, pretty amazing is that's what's on the bottom. I know, nothing I mean, it's nothing but rock. <laughs> so <laughs> he's finding the same rock every time. It's amazing. Good job. So just for reference, three lanes of cars, different directions. Only two actual lanes on the road. <laughs> yep. Come on, lady. Probably is Turkish coffee, but they are calling. Remember when she hadn't fallen down in a while? Oh, uh, go back to zero. Did they just 
start chasing each other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. What's your name? See all the where the barriers were? Yeah. <laughs> all the dust rings? Yes, yes. Three people. Lots of beach stuff. And beach plus work? Yeah. Hit the buttons. Don't hit the broken one. <laughs> you ready to go home, Sid? Yeah. Wanna stay here forever? Let's go to the beach. Let's go to the beach. 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 Get away. <laughs> <laughs>